everyone. Hi, guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And I'm really happy to be here with you and to get back to painting today. So, I know. Jeremy, yes. I've picked the colours for today's episode, but there's a reason why. But before I get into what I'm doing, hmm. what are you going to do today? Um, that's a great question. I've been having a lot of fun doing these flip cups, mm -hmm. and but I wanted to do a bigger piece. Right. So I'm thinking about doing a 24 by 24 and doing three flip cups on it. Love it. Yeah, yeah, dirty pour too. It's like okay. a dirty flip cup. Excellent. So yeah, I'm, I'm really I'm really excited about okay. this one. I'm excited about that one too. Okay, so I wanted to take a quick second just to introduce you to someone who I had the absolute pleasure of meeting just last week. Um, and that is a fabulous, really talented artist and actually quite a wonderful person, mm. um, Anne Upton. So um, Anne is a Instagram star. She's got like 200,000 subscribers wow. on Instagram. That's amazing. It's so funny. And she gets recognized as she walks down the street, which is something that Massey Art Studios have not <laughs> experienced just yet. Um, but her art is really fantastic. Um, to tell you a little bit about Anne, she's a family woman. She's a mother of a ton of children and um, has originally from Kansas City, I believe, lived in Hawaii, now out in Alabama. And um, she's got this awesome like pink and purple hair and all of her art is really bright and really fun and really awesome. Mm. She does a lot of resin work. She's done acrylic in the past. You will definitely see her on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and we'll put all the links down here. But I had the opportunity to actually paint with and spend some time doing some really fun art with Anne. So it was just a really, really awesome time for me as an artist to get to learn and to grow from someone who has a different journey. It's not necessarily a YouTube journey. It's an Instagram journey. Yes. And, um, and so today's episode is, is dedicated to Anne. And the piece that I'm going to pour is going to be for Anne. So um, there's some really interesting colours in this one, which I know that she'll appreciate. But please, if you haven't already, would you go and subscribe to her channels? You will not regret it because she does some really, really, really awesome stuff. And 200,000 people just can't be wrong. Right. So um, please go and check her all out on all of her channels because she's just an absolute star. That being said, Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching us on this Friday premiere. We appreciate you all. Um, please like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I'd like to get painting. Let's get to painting. Let's get to the table. We'll see you there. <laughs> all right, ladles and jelly spoons. What do we have before us? Well, we have Donald the dustpan. We have our four chamber split cup and we have a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas that the studio hubby has put paint, uh, not paint, has put tape on the back. <laughs> I put paint on the front. He put tape on the back and we've got push pins in it. Now, you can see this beautiful lilac abstract design here and you would probably think to yourself, Lee, why are you even painting over this wonderful composition? Well, let me tell you, this is not a wonderful composition. In fact, it was a scraped canvas because I've just tried to do this and I messed it up. So we're going to do this again. First, let me introduce you to this bevy of deliciousness, which is our color palette. And it is golden Prussian blue. It is golden dioxazine purple. It's golden as a right hue. One of Jeremy's faves. Mm -hmm. We've got Arteza Pearl Pistachio. And I've got Deco Art Metallics 24 karat gold. Bling bling. A lovely little bit of bling. Now I also have Pearl White. This is the Iridescent Pearl Fine. This is another Golden's color. Now that is in a pot on its own. But I've also mixed a pot with the Cobalt Violet Hue. And that's to create my flow extender. And what I've got is this delicious like light raspberry, pinky, violety, lovely, pearly deliciousness in this pot right here. So this is going to be my flow. This is going to be my base because I am going to have negative space on this piece. And then I've got a little tiny pot of it in case I want to kind of use it to help me manipulate my design. 
So first things first, I'm actually gonna flood this canvas first because I hate looking at this because it just reminds me of what I just didn't do right. And then we're gonna layer the split cup. Then we're gonna pour it onto Donald and then we're gonna get it onto the canvas right here. So let me flood this canvas with this delicious base coat. And I'm only gonna do about two thirds of the canvas because I'm gonna leave a little bit of space up here because that's where my dustpan's gonna go. So let me get to that first. All right, so now to Donald and my split cup. This is my four chamber split cup. And we're gonna pour this one right here, Studio Hubsy. So I've split my colors into the light and dark. So I've got my two dark kind of purple tones and then my, my sorry, I've got my dark purple tone, my light purple tone, my dark blue tone, my light blue tone. And that's how I'm going to arrange these cups, This. And that's how I'm gonna arrange these chambers, I'm sorry, in this split cups. I can't talk today. I'm just gonna be so excited about this pour. Um, but what I'm also gonna do then is use the pearls, the gold, and the light pistachio to kind of create some interest in between. Now, I'm gonna put a small layer of this deep dark dioxazine into my chamber first. Now, because it is so dark, it can absolutely have a layer of pearl white in it. Then I'm gonna do another layer of this wonderfulness, a bit thicker this time. Then I'm gonna put some gold in. Then another layer of the dioxazine. And I'm gonna cap it off with a little bit of white. What I did wrong in the first attempt was my actual dustpan itself was really, really dark and the colors just didn't come through. So I'm using a lot more of the pearl white, the pearl pistachio and the gold to lighten up this composition. So now let's get that wonderful cobalt hue into the cup. And this time I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of gold, using this one really sparingly. Now some more cobalt. A little layer of the white. Just a tiny layer. And now I'm gonna finish this one off with the cobalt. Okay, so that's two down. Next to Prussian. This time I'm gonna start with a smaller layer of the pistachio because at the bottom of that other chamber was the cobalt hue. It was the cobalt violet, sorry. So we can take a little bit of pearl, pistachio, put some more in this chamber. A little bit of pearl. And then some more Prussian. And I'm not putting gold in that chamber because I had it in my first two. And now to the azurite. So because I had pearl pistachio in the bottom of the last one, I'm gonna start with the azurite. This time I'm gonna put a small layer of gold. Small, small layer. More azurite. Little bit of the pearl pistachio. And then let's finish off. Now excuse me, Jeremy, because I'm gonna scrape every last bit out of this pot. I think you should finish it off with pearl. Oh, okay. Pistachio. Okay. Look at you, Studio Hubby there, with an opinion. I love it. It was a good one. Okay, sir? Okay. Right, now let's get layering straight onto the dustpan so we can get this bad boy on yes. this canvas. Now, I'm not gonna layer into anything because I've got a lot of paint here, so I'm fine. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's do this. I 
gold is going to come through in a second somewhere. Here it comes. It's hardly selling. It's crazy, I can see that in the dustbin. Here's the pearl pistachio coming out at the very end. No, you bet. I see that big drip. Okay. But it's okay. I don't know what that must have dripped off the bottom of the cup, but it that's did. okay. That's okay. I'm going to stretch that out anyway. All right. So here is my layered pan. Now we're gonna get this one onto the canvas. So I'm just gonna put a little layer of white on the lip. And what is that for? That's just, I've got a rubber lip on the edge of this pan. And so what I want this to do is to just help the dust, the actual paint get off the dustpan onto the canvas. So that's the only reason for it. So I'm gonna start a little bit in on this one because I'm gonna stretch the composition both backwards and forwards. So let's get this onto the canvas. Are you ready, sir? Yes. Let's do this. Okay, there's more, I did, I did more drips than anything else there, but I'm gonna end up stretching it down this way anyway, so let's see what happens. It wasn't a super neat composition, but I didn't necessarily need it to be. So, now that I've got my base coat and my pan onto this canvas, the next thing is... Tilting time. Let's tilt this one out, let's see what's gonna happen. Now, first off, I'm gonna bring it backwards, and then I'm gonna bring it back down the canvas. So let's see how this goes. It's Tilton time, people. Tilton time.
All right, folks, so there you have it. Um, what you saw me do as I was tilting this one out was using the negative space to kind of uh, have an impact in my composition. It kind of helped me create these divots, which I really love. I really love how this part here is like sweeping off the canvas. Um, I like the kind of the second lines that I've got running through this, which is really cool. And that's just from the lip of the dustpan, which just creates this kind of second kind of um, swipe, if you like. Um, this was my little blob of pearl pistachio which i think has a home there i actually don't it doesn't kind of worry me that it's there either so i'm going to leave it as it is i love all this negative space and i like how the colors kind of you know contrast this dark area and then this really beautiful kind of light pink area so this is how it's going to stay i'm going to torch this one off real quick i'm going to get my edges and then we'll take you guys in for a close-up thank you everyone Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I am so excited to be here right and now. And you just can't hide it. I just can't hide it. And um, I am looking at my paints and my canvas, this lovely 24 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas from Jerry's Artorama that has been taped and it has been pinned on the back. Um, and I'm looking at these colors and I'm really excited that he chose these colors. They're some of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna jump right in and get to doing my dirty flip cup pour. Delicious, and you're doing three of those on I'm this canvas. I'm doing three of those on this canvas. Now I noticed you haven't got pins in your flip cups. Do you wanna do that? Yes, I'm gonna pin my flip cups right now. Okay. All right. All right, sir, so I see three cups there for your three flips, and you said you're dirty layering these? I am dirty mm. layering these. Okay, right, well, we we're gonna speed this bit up just because yes. it'll take us a little while. Um, why don't you go for it? Okay. Okay guys, so I got my cups ready to go. I am going to start flip cupping this baby out. All right, so why don't I go ahead and flip my first cup. Ooh, very minimal spillage there, nicely right. done. Hmm. That was interesting. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't want to put them on the edges of the canvas so that you'd add no. less far for them to travel. No. You're going to tilt it out. I'm going to tilt it out. See, you know what you're doing. You had a plan. You were yes. a man with a plan. Like a light lighting up in the dark you make it right, I forgot how to act, it's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words, it's been a while since I forgot the most simple words.
Now I know why I never worked out before I know it would always turn out bad, so bad But every time we start Okay guys, so what's amazing here is that I got my cups all flipped. I'm loving the composition already of these colors. I can't wait to stretch this out and tilt it out. Um, I put my flow extender around it. Um, as you saw, I had my cups with the pens in them. Now, the reason why I have that, the pen in the cup is so that way when I flip it over, I can pull that pin out and it releases the suction so that way the paint all comes out of it. Um, but I do let it sit upside down for a little while before I pull that pin out. Um, so, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get to tilting this out. So what time is it? It's tilting time. It's tilting time. And that's a delicious like flow extender color. It you've is, got there. right? It is one of our own because it's about 17 different colors all mixed <laughs> together. And I did it came out the most disgusting color of gray. So I threw in a bit of dioxazine purple just to help it along. Nice. But you're going to stretch most of it. I'm going to stretch it out. Yeah. So we'll see what happens.
Okay guys, I'm in love. I love the pearl pistachio through here, the gold cells that have come up, this dioxazine purple, and this, uh, what's this blue? Azurite. Azurite blue. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better composition on this. I was afraid it was gonna be too dark, and it's not. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I hope that you guys love it. I'm in love with it, and... So and is, so is that fly. The fly loves it too. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, but I'll go ahead and get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. It's beautiful. Let's do it. Thank you, hubby. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> I love a split cup ring pour into a dustpan onto a canvas with some negative space. It makes my heart sing. Yours came out amazing. I it's really, really so loved pretty. it. And, you know, honestly, it was not my first attempt. It was my second attempt because the first one didn't come out quite so great. But um, I really loved that pink with that pearl oh, white yeah. in it. That yeah. negative space was really pretty. I yeah. enjoyed it. He got a little frustrated on, got on the first very one. Very frustrated, <laughs> in fact, because I knew that I could pour a really awesome pour with those colours and it did not come out like I wanted. Wait. All, all probably, what, 30 ounces of paint off that canvas. So yes. yes. But we were good because we saved that for oh, us as a flow, flow extender. extender. Absolutely. Yeah, so we did save that paint. Nothing wasted but, yes. in this studio. Yes. And I loved your flip cup, Jeremy. Oh, thank it you. came out so beautiful. Thank you. I loved the gold popping cells all the way through it. And yeah, that I have was to really say, awesome. I really, really enjoyed this one. I don't I think I don't think we've ever messed up a flip cup. I think that just the compositions are always so pretty. Oh, I think I have. Probably like early have. on. Yeah. yeah, we probably have. Yeah. Now those pieces are still wet, so I'm going to take you in to see those wet results real quick. Jeremy wanted to show you the dried results from the pour we just did and a pour two pours ago. Yes. So let me start by showing you a dried result. This was my wandering, uh, sorry, no, this was my waterfall or angel wing pour. This was with those really wonderful, those green golds. It was the Nicolazzle gold. Yeah. It was that, I think it was Paynes or Prussian. No, it was turquoise phalo, I'm sorry. Um, some really beautiful colours. This was my second attempt at a waterfall or angel wing pour. And I really love these kind of, you know, fingers that you get, kind of like almost grabbing everything else in between it. I really did love this piece. So there's my waterfall. Yes. Jeremy, which one was yours? And then this one was my triple ring pour that I did. And I am in love with this piece, you guys. I think it just came out so great. These colors are amazing. It just shines. I mean, it just glows in certain areas. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I just love this piece. And I love these colors that we used in this one. And now the next pieces that we did, this was from- Yeah, the last pour. The last pour that yeah. we did, yeah. So I, I really wanted to show you the dried results of this because they came out so great. Mm -hmm. This was my flip cup. And it was actually the and same was, color palette. It was the same color palette. And isn't it interesting how like you can use the same colors and they come out completely different right. in, in each pour. 
but this one just came out so well. I'm just in love with this piece. Very fall colors. You know, that's the reason why we started the channel. You know, we saw that we, what we thought was we really wanted to show people that you didn't need a ton of colors to actually produce very different art. Yeah. Especially with two of us pouring every time, you know, you always get to see different techniques and, and hopefully the same colors being used really showcases the technique. This one being a split clock ring pour onto a canvas and then it was spun out on the Lazy Deborah. Yeah. A little bit darker in the middle, this one, for sure. But I really wanted to keep that kind of fire opaly, kind of, you know, quinacridone orangey kind of middly color, which yeah. I really enjoyed too. I love that piece. Yeah, thank you. I it really was awesome. do. So if you ever want to find our pieces, um, please go check out the Massey Art Studio website, which mm -hmm. is just www.masseyartstudio.com. Um, yeah. Jeremy's going to be updating all I of am. the content on that website because it yes. hasn't been updated since we moved. I know. Um, so please, everything that we pour on the channel, unless it's a commissioned piece, is always up for sale. Yes. And that's going to be one of the best places to find it, as well as our Instagram account and everywhere else where you already know we are. Yes. So that is it, folks. We're going to let you go. Thank you for watching our dried results. Thank you for being here with us on this premiere. Please go and subscribe to Anne Upton Art if you haven't already. I can promise you she is just a bag full of inspiration and really wonderful pieces yeah. and a really lovely person. She's definitely a friend of ours going forward. Um, and we'll see you on Sunday for the premiere train. I'm sure you'll be here with us with probably Mina and maybe Gina and Sarah and maybe even <laughs> Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. But we'll let you know on Sunday what's going to happen then. Yes. So until then, guys, have a great weekend and yes. we'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spank... Spank? <laughs> spank some very special people. <laughs> Larry. We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our... Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So we have some awesome people that we'd like to take a moment to thank. And that is at the gold level, we have Janice Swansea, we have Jane Klein, we have Trisha West and Donna Patterson, we have Gloria Salaki, we have Nate Bright, Linda Serian, and Amy Gardner, who you all know as Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes, that's right. And on our platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver and Janice Pittman. And our one and only diamond level Massey Posse is Sparkles, Yay. aka Laurie Finza. And we'd really love to say, we appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. And everyone else that's listed down here below, yes. thank you so much for being a Patreon. Absolutely. We really genuinely appreciate you. Thank you so very much.